checked off five shims not realizing that they were actually going to install them in the secondary and they did so so we're going to have way too much slack in the old belt lash so i've got to tear into the secondary is what it is i messed up so not their fault glad to have it looking forward to running it but now we're going to tear it apart down to see the boys at Picasso and get myself a nice chunk of threaded rod and some washers to compress this bad boy because we do not have the specialty tool but this should work so yeah away we go see how she goes that was the big tire setups a lot of guys have been tried and true running the QSCs and the STMs for the secondary you know, it's supposed to be a good setup so I look forward to trying it very curious Okay, just fine. Just like so. There she is. They said it would work. Nice and safe. Easy does it. Never to take pictures of this stuff as you're going along for guys who aren't filming it. So you got yourself a little plastic spacer there. You want to make sure that that's going to be staying on top. So at this point, we can pull our spring out and we'll set that aside. Just like so. Then we can flip this bad boy over, like so. Utilize our tape roller. It's nice to have something soft. Okay, now these ones here are torqued in there pretty good. I, from what I gather, they are not the same size. Maybe we can find a metric that fit those nice and tight. The four mil. Oh yes, now that is a nice tight fit four mil. Okay, that actually wasn't torqued all that much. It came out of there nice and easy. You got to make sure when you're doing this, guys. They recommend you make sure you clean all these threads, you clean out these holes, get all that old Loctite out of there. You definitely don't want the crap. So we'll set that aside. We'll go to the furthest to the right again. Nice and easy. Yeah, there's really not a lot of torque on those. Surprises me. Same length, indeed. For this to the right, this guy. Last one, and our helix should be free. Which should let us separate these sheaves. I see another pair here. I'm not sure whether they're holding on to a one-way bearing or a spacer or something, but I don't think they have to come out. Okay, there we are. We are at our shims. So when I talked to our friend Adam from QSC, he recommended two of these. Keith's running two of them. He had three, removed one, and I think STM's recommendation was the same. It was two or three shims for your belt deflection. So. We're going to go right ahead and remove three of these and drop right to two. I think we're probably going to be good there. These are fiber washers from what I can tell. 
But yeah, so if you check off the box for how many spacers would you like, be mindful when you order these from STM, they're going to install them. These are built to order, so they don't ask questions. They assume you know what you're talking about if you're going to go and specify your specific order. I actually reach out to them and try to conversate prior to the order, um, let them know when I'm running for tires, weight, and stuff like that set up so I can hopefully get the best recommendation from the pros because they know their stuff uh, far better than I do. Actually, I don't know much about clutching. I'm learning and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, clean up all these holes, get that Loctite out of there, clean up the sheaves and uh, get ready for some new Loctite and reassembly and we'll get back to you. All right, cheers. Going to be ready for the races, boys. We want a shot at winning. And I think that the 34s on the Renegade is where the QSC was dialed in just perfect. So I think accompanying it with the secondary should help us a great deal. At least I'm hoping. And I'll let you guys know what we think. So we've actually had two different types of setups in the secondary recommended to us, but both did come with two shims for backlash and the recommendations. Um, one being a gold spring, which I did order up. Um, STM had recommended maybe I try going with this lime green, which I think if I read correctly is better suited for heavier weight machines like side by sides and stuff. But I think they recommended them to us because we're running something a little bigger than what most people do on an ATV at 34. So sort of represents that load of the side by side. So we're gonna go ahead with STM's recommendation of the lime green, find out how that works. And then uh, if we decide we're not getting the performance we are looking for, then we're probably gonna take uh, Adam from QSC's recommendation and throw in the gold spring and see what happens there. I think Asta and Keith and a lot of other folks have been running the gold spring, so um, definitely works, no doubt about it. But we're gonna try this. Very curious. Specialty tool. We'll keep that around the shop because we may want to adjust the setup. Easy peasy, 10 bucks, thread rod, couple washers, couple knots, you're good to go. Now we got our spares that I was looking for in the first place. <laughs> no harm, no foul. All right, let's torque these down, not overdo it. She's good. Ta-da, lash set, down to the two shims. <sighs> we'll give this thing a quick cleaning with the old uh, clutch and pulley cleaner that I got from the boys down at the shop. And uh, we'll crack the belt housing on the beast there and get her stabbed in there. Right on. Cheers, boys. Oh, yeah, and even easier to get the belt box out, boys. That was actually great. All clean, looks very good. Decent. Spread those sheets, we'll get the belt off, clean everything up, and we'll get our STM in there. Sound good? Yeah, buddy. There should be plenty enough to get us in there. Bad though, not too bad. We'll probably give her a little rough up with uh, some light sanding and uh, maintain her grip. Memory cloth stuff like that's good too. But I think we're probably going to utilize the Dalton spring in here for the other Renegade. Why wouldn't we, right? Get some better grip there. It works great when you're talking about anything under a, a 32 inch size wheel. A lot of guys prefer to keep the stock secondary with an upgraded spring. Um, they swear by uh, better wheel spins so I mean 
This is what it is. We've tried it. We never had any issues with it. Uh, like again, just because of the 34s that we decided to go this route. So, all right, jam nut. Here we go. So at this point again, shaft and everything. So impact 16 and uh, for the best. And you want to keep your hand on there because that baby's loaded with the spring pressure. So. your spring pressure boys just like that we're gonna bring it all out even the helix everything there you go boys that is your secondary you got yourself a spring loaded style washer and you want to make sure that you've got that facing the right way so you're getting the pressure out of it your nut your jam nut and yeah shaft is stuck in there again not the first time these things have played games with me. So what I've done is I went and slapped the secondary back. I left the spring out and just put the secondary on there so it'll grip the back right with the teeth in line. Tighten down your jam nut and all that jazz again. Just wedge something right in the fins, boys. It's just about the only way you can stop this thing from torquing. I tried tires, all that jazz. So I did that, threw the stud jam nuts back on. As soon as I stopped the secondary from even moving an iota, well, of course, then it started to break free, no problem. So she's done. Now, I can take out my whole shaft. Just another reason I ain't a fan of these things. And these are also stretch bolts. Do not reuse these boys. They are good for one use and one use only. All right, so here's what it is. Now we can remove Helix as well. And we are ready. Ta-da. you're going to use the separator to the best of my knowledge anyways just like so yeah I can feel it I feel the sheaves are separating so I don't know how far we're gonna go with this baby I think that's far enough but we shall see Just like so. So there we go. Easy peasy. Back off that puller. And we got ourselves a stud. And I am very fond of this method as far as fastening your clutch down. This is the way it should be done right here, boys. Just like that. Make sure. Yep, we're in there. At this point, we can crank her on down. So, what do we got? I'm guessing that is an eight. Indeed, it is. Oop, 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 oop. She's falling in. Don't want that. You got a rubber tip on her as well, so that's good. pounds there it is that is a beautiful picture right there folks look at the billet in there oh my shiny right on boys ready to rock for the races we got 34s equipped on the renegade stm secondary qsc primary this thing is set up nice for these tires and weight it was working very good impressed so in this combination i think we should have a winner here boys can't wait to try it out. You boys will see your first hand of the track at the pit races. But uh, yeah, I'll button this thing up and uh, we'll see you here soon. Thank you.